Judy, you just gonna stay in the shower all night? Back off, Dad, this is real life. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Clay Kim. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. No, because of Ash too, because man, we're gonna check out a pool. We, the, the, we didn't actually do the pool, but we did the landscaping around the pool, and it was a really incredible transformation. I'm Clay Nelson, I'm a general contractor from Western Louisiana, and I like to make videos. I don't know what to say. That's actually something good to say, just I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. You do the intro. You could say, hey, I'm Tate Allen. I'm a construction contracting contractor. I don't really sound like that when I talk to you. <laughs> okay, so we're done with this backyard. They put the pool in, and then we came back through here and put in a bunch of landscaping all the way around the pool. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a video. I want to give you guys a little bit of a video montage. This is nice. I wonder if Emily would get mad if we stay here pretty much all day. Let's go get some drinks. Let's go with me. All right, and right here we did a little fence, and something that you can really appreciate is the architectural value. Does that sound hosty? I think that does. Yeah, I like it. Because the fence boards go horizontally instead of vertically. Like, vertically is sort of like the norm, and this is just something that's just a little bit different. If you're a long time viewer of this vlog, you know that I have like sinus problems pretty much all the time, but they've been really bad for the past six weeks. And mom said my brain could explode if I don't go to the doctor and get it checked out, so that's where I'm going. I mean, if my brain exploded, I wouldn't really be missing much. I don't use it that much anyway. Okay, I'm going in. Be back in three, two, well, I'm gonna survive, but the bad news is I have a heck of a sinus infection, which I kind of got that, and for like six weeks, I should have went a long time ago, but I just didn't want to add to the whole coronavirus stuff. Yeah, every time I get a steroid shot, I always end up rattling off a bunch of orders that everybody at work and home, you know, like I'm gonna save the world or something, just because I feel so bad. <coughs> feel so powerful and just so top of the world like a grizzly bear. I hadn't quite kicked in yet. That'll probably be tonight and I won't be able to clean the whole house. Anyway, just taking a minute to kind of hang out in the sunshine because like we're coming to an end. I know I've been saying that for like the past month, but it really is like the season's coming to an end. It's about to be cold. We're October, middle of October. I can remember times during Halloween where you had to wear a big old jacket anyway. Ow! And I also learned something new today. My nurse practitioner, she's so freaking awesome. She said that the steroid shot was going to help with my congestion at all, and it totally has. I haven't been... Ah, I can breathe the fresh air now. <laughs> I think I'm going to go buy some roses or something. Wait a second. There's a flower. It smells like and time to read a couple of comments. Hopsing says I should put a Trump logo on the bottom of my pool. That sounds like that'd be fun. Matt says I'll kick your butt in Donkey Kong or Mortal Kombat any day. I'm pretty sure she was talking about like back in the early 90s, you know, whenever all that was going on. Definitely did a lot of Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis. Not a whole lot of Donkey Kong though for some reason. It was like Mortal Kombat and what's the other one? Uh, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. They were like the big games for us. But Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. I forgot all about that. Dude, I beat like the whole entire thing one time. And that was back in the day when video games, like you had to start from the beginning and go all the way to the end. You couldn't have like multiple lives all the way through. It's like you either died or you live. And you made it. if you made it, you live and you won. You know. Kelsa says, why are people so rude? That is a very good question. I have no idea. Your balls get a lot bigger when you're typing on a phone instead of like being in front of somebody. So I mean, you just get to say what you want without any repercussions. And the beauty of it is I've been producing content for quite a a while now so it's getting to where it just doesn't really bother me i've had people say a lot of really terrible things that i really don't even want to repeat because there's a small amount of people that are close to my life that i care about their opinions the rest of everybody else i don't unless you're like being like nice like most of you guys everybody who watches my videos every day are just like so cool and nice and i really appreciate that stacy says i love the randomness and that's pretty much what you get when you have a vlog style type video sometimes there's a specific uh, idea that i'm trying to come across but most of the time it's just like my day it's just my day and i'm just going about the things that i normally do and i, and I try to put it on a video in a creative way that could be like satisfying or inspiring or are you dancing? Scott says, I feel you, I need to sleep like that, gotta have one of those NB hats. And that is something that I've really actually been thinking about, you know, some way to sort of monetize and making some sort of like an online shop with Nelson Builders hats and like real life stuff and just, just think clay cam stuff, I guess, just things. Something I can offer to people that enjoy this vlog. And the thing is, I don't really know that much about online stores. I've done them in the past and I just never really, never really got good at them, I guess. So if there's anybody out there that can help me with like a merch situation, That'd be awesome. Enough for the comments, time for something else. Welcome to another episode of Johnny Trash. I'm gonna sing you a song. Hey, you don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. To make it better Hey, dude, don't be afraid You were made to go out and get her The minute you let her under your 
skin The minute you let her get under your skin, you begin to make it better. I don't think that's really how real life works. That is not real life. That's been another episode of Clay Kim. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.